Unfortunately, some units fled in at the very last minute, allowing them to reinforce. However, we have secured it and unfortunately not eliminating too many Cindy divisions. But we have shortened the front for our side significantly. Which I think, in the course of this war, is more important. Having shorter supply lines and a greater ability to focus our men against the united forces of syndicalism is very good. We also need to begin considering putting more divisions on... Um, well, port duty, which I think the African divisions, since I'm not sure of what the AI, or I guess Garing, did to compose them, we will do for the time being. We will continue to extract the resources of Russia rather than any other nation, just for the sheer ability that we can, and it's cheaper. Paris is so close, it's tantalizing. Beyond tantalizing, even. Also, actually there. Hmm. Yeah. Reports from Paris confirm that the Communard capital has been captured by advancing Flemish Wallonian... Okay. Flemish Wallonians who did that. However, as we can see, the fall of Paris is not anywhere close to being enough to knock out the French. And even while we are securing these victories, we're falling further and further behind in other sectors. So I think our goal now is to not so much knock out the front line, but try and knock out the rear. We're going to strike deep and far and try and encircle the French... Uh, well... Fort Wall. And if we're able to do that, uh, the war should be won for our side. At the very least, it'll be a lot easier to fight a bunch of starved out frothing at the mouth syndicalists than regular flop frothing at the mouth syndicalists. <sighs> oh, that's why they said that. No, 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 no. Picardy. And the other cross. Fine, you would have flat. Paris, the capital of the commune, is uh, will soon take full control of the city. The fate of Southern Melonia. Give the province to in this. It's one million people. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll integrate it. They're German. Silly people saying Germans shouldn't be part of Germany. Who do you think you are? We do want to be careful here and make sure not all of our tank forces are encircled by the French. Do some little overzealous uh, offensive action. So we'll take a minute to pause before we advance again. And that minute has been done, and we're going straight to Geneva. Ish. We're also going to send a numerically weaker force through the further western route. 
now that our now that we've caught up or now that our uh, main force has caught up and I think we'll do I can't start the radio that'll be a waste don't need that I think unit army training now will be the best choice. We will also finally give Otto Becker his um, time in the light. Also, I guess we'll send all of our tanks forward in the main offensive. Maybe not. This is a beautifully empty patch of land. And air superiority is thinly held. Very thinly. We will not be able to continue taking losses at the rate we are. A lot of brave German pilots died to secure the air for us. And I intend on having that advantage be used fruitfully. Ace pilot promoted. We're so close to breaking through. Polish claims. Uh, support Poland. Yeah, no, no, no. Support Poland. No. They left Mid-Europa because we did that. Our old ally, the Ottoman Empire, wants to buy military aircraft designs from German companies. Several aircraft manufacturers have notified us because German law states that the sale of weapons to foreign buyers must be approved by the government first. Shall we allow our companies to sell aircraft blueprints to the Turks? Sure. Turkey is not uh, an, imminent, an imminent threat, I believe. However, we are getting pushed back in this area. I want to push far back. And yeah, we have done it. We're only just so. We can secure this final little bit of land. We will starve out the enemies of the Empire. Germany will be safe from syndicalism for another day. That also might be more effective than attacking with tanks in the mountains. This is also a winter offensive, apparently. Oh joy. Those are always the best. You know what? I like this better. We're throwing all in to the offensive north of Geneva. We're so close to victory now I can smell it. Either that or we put ourselves into one mighty sized trap. However, Rommel needs a different color. Let's make Rommel purple. Yeah. We need more men in this hellhole. We're so close. So close to securing victory. Oh my god. Attack north. We can't allow any reinforcements to get here. Attack. This is insane. Oh, we did it. Oh, we fucking did it. Holy hell. Uh, pause. I don't want 77 divisions here. 
Okay, split in half. The vast majority need to go here. However, there are only two bits of supply for the entirety of whatever sized uh, syndicalist united forces here. And they are beginning to already suffer from very low supply. I think the trenches of Nanzig, Champagne, de l'Est, Franche-Comte are going to be seeing a lot of unfortunate, unfortunate sights soon. And we've had a nice few number of technologies finished. We will do multi-altitude flying, and we will also research Europa-class carriers. We need to begin... begin. Yes. We need to begin the final fight towards the begin. The Commune of Britain led by Totalist Mosley. The most evil man in human history. Okay, so we lost a lot of men in that offensive that I'm kind of sad to say that. However, the attritional losses and everything here should put us in a good spot. Switzerland went national populist. Enemies on all sides. The government has failed us. Expelling all foreigners. The black spot of Europe. Oh no. Switzerland, why? Switzerland, no. Now the French are beginning to push us back a little bit. We aren't ready for this. Uh, there are 13 divisions here. Deploy to this front. We need to begin rolling back the uh, forces of evil here more quickly than I initially anticipated. However, even with the massive penalties faced by them, they aren't as weak as I would like. Getting more supply equipment from Herman Goering, I, I don't know how, but we're getting it. Uh, yeah, this is unacceptable. We need to secure this area. Uh, I guess not as much as before, considering we've broken through. Yeah, if we're able to hold the line here, um, you guys I want deployed here. So the French have lost 2.7 million men. We need to quickly disassemble this pocket because the French are realizing that if they lose these guys, the jig is up. However, the more vulnerable parts of the pocket have been um, don't know how to say further away from the front line at the very least. And our air superiority net has begun to falter quite severely. Yeah, the end is nigh for our commune friends here. 
And we just killed another 200,000 communists. Or commune people. Communards. Communards. Fun word. However, while our defenses are a little bit desperate here, the vassal forces have pushed the commune back in the Balkans, or at least held them at bay, even so far as liberating uh, Bulgaria for the most part. And our net grows tighter and more thorough on the French. Day by day, v uh, village by village, the main bulk of France's forces are being mopped up by the German military. It's gone to a point where they are probably at completely, oh no. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia is here. Oh, why did you have to do that? We were so close to victory. So close. That's a good thing we have plenty of military factories at this point. What I am really looking forward to is putting the full weight of our army against the French. Which I am going to declare that Runestet begin planning of the Grand Offensive. Air support is beginning to falter. And we are beginning to get pushed back slightly. However, it is all for naught. For this day, the pocket was closed and half a million Frenchmen died. Or are now in... Uh facilities to keep them away from the general public because they are a danger. We will marshal Rommel up north. After this resounding success, we will assign more panzer units of the heavier and lighter variety. Putting him up to the limit of what he can reasonably command. And with this combined force, we will set course for Brest. And hopefully there we will... Yeah, we will see the French finally... Once and for all, booted off of the good continent of Europe. Well, not the French specifically, but the Communards. We're probably going to offer France their land back in exchange for joining Mitte-Europa. Mitte Weakened and impoverished now, the French forces see nothing to do but flee. The path to Brittany is free. The Kaiser Reich is here. And America has thrown in on the Communard side. Of course they would. Being filthy Communards themselves. The French front line has broken in its earnest entirety, though. Uh, as we can see, we are able to basically move with impunity through their territory. Securing Brittany before even our own army could help the advance. Moving towards Bordeaux now in the hope that will finally break the French government. Not in Paris, not anywhere else. We have been f able to find Jacques Dorito. I know it's not pronounce that, but I feel like calling him Jacques Dorito. That's more of a 
stereotypical Hirohito accent as well. Let's 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 ignore all this uh, nonsense and just enjoy the fall of France. I feel less inclined for any grand encirclements at this moment, and more for a conservative, bit-by-bit -bit approach to make sure we don't miss anything. But, as I say that, I will try an encirclement for, one, for fun, because doing encirclements is fantastically amusing. T. Lawrence has moved north. That bastard. And Bordeaux is now ours. Still nowhere near enough to secure victory, but it does cause a pain in their side. We're going to march with reckless abandon at this point, and yes, the French themselves have or the Entente French have seen fit to secure Provence. However, it must be noted that the victories being seen by our men are not gained through boots on the ground. They're being gained through... Um, excellent. The superiority of our mechanized forces. The fact that we got um, medium armor 3 early and we're deploying them in such a large amount by this point because all of our medium tanks are medium armor 3. By May 1943 we have 2,000 tanks deployed in the field and that is significant to say the least. We will continue our little reckless advance to Lyon now. Hopefully hopefully sealing off their government there. How they're able to escape so quickly, I do not know. I suppose that's the benefits of having unlimited air power, which I assume they have, considering uh, how voraciously everything's going for them. Or how many planes we've lost uh, here. It's actually kind of ridiculous. What's left of the forces that they had arrayed near Paris are beating the Starve out, much like their brethren on the Nanzig line. And we now have France basically curled up into a ball. The British in Canada have liberated the majority of Italy. Good for them, I say. Right. Seems our light tanks weren't able to penetrate through their lines. Nor are our medium tanks able to penetrate through the hills near Lyon. We might have to come at it from both sides. And the horses, as one would expect, are very squishy when it comes to tank. Some hidden panzers are over by Paris. Or not even hit by, they are in Paris going to use them to knock out the remainder of the French infantry here. We've lost a good few men during the last few months, uh, approximately 200,000. However, the losses by the French are nearly incomparable. They have broken their nation down to the nail, not even to the nail, to the bone in their attempt to prevent another defeat like in the first Weltkrieg. And it's almost tragic to say that they have lost again. It's not tragic considering we're on the other side, but you gotta admire a, 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 what, what do you call it? A, a very good attempt. There were some times where we could have been dusted. Even still, we can't really advance through the Alps without losing a significant number of men. 
However, Lawrence is a concern. And our failure to prevent our not even prevent, but in order to have Lyon fall is nearly disgraceful. And the French have complete air superiority over the south. Uh who? Q U Land. Led by Nat Pops. What is the deal with all this national populism? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I want Albatross on this. I want Albatross on the case. Can you, like, do that and then do that? No? That's unfortunate. Oh well. The remainder of the French forces here are... You know what, actually, I would rather wipe up the remainder of Fran France's forces than do any nonsense in trying to take their capital. This is a major pocket, and I don't want to cock this up. No, they're just still holding strong. They're just there. superiority. Yep. Well, the least we can do is try and secure air superiority in the north and south of France. And... We've done it. The Commune of France has surrendered. Now our only goal is to take advantage of the situation and blitz through Italy to try and capitulate them again. Rommel will take that duty. However, it seems that the British are going to do that themselves. <laughs> Being harassed by a small insect now. It's tragic. We now find ourselves faced with the task of defeating the Royal Navy. Led by a madman. The French Navy is mostly gone, and I feel that our fleet has recovered. To an extent that I feel comfortable using it again. For those of you who heard that, that was a mosquito in the middle of November. Well, it looked like a mosquito. Um, however, that's neither here nor there. We will boost the deck space to unthinkable proportions as well as the moving space. No? Okay. We will call it the Terra class. And we'll begin building the Terra. This, no, this is Europe class. I want the Terra class. Okay, Terra class, and yeah, we just want them deployed in Schleswig Holstein. It's all cool. I'll actually get rid of that line of guys and just have them go. Let's go rip wild. Rip wild on it. And continue researching some naval thing or other. However, I think the steady increasement of the army is now no longer necessary. And Rommel has his marching orders. Actually, I think the Socialist Republic of Italy already has surrendered. 
Yeah. Uh, well, the, the point here was... We now have... Point. In which to secure passage against the British. You know, not even passage, just secure the channel against the British. And doing so, we shall. Runestet? I don't know what you're doing. Whatever you do, stop. Stop. Uh, just do that. Just build one gigantic line against the enemy. And we want a nice big wall of the troops to defend this newly held territory. Rommel, we will move up, considering all the Canadians now control the bulk of this place. I suppose we will also do strategic bomb or daylight bombing. I don't want to bother with French factories either. Really? Well, they actually do still control that. Um, where are we? English Channel. They might have air superior. Or they might have more planes than us. Where are other carriers? The thing is, we have air superior. I have no clue where other, like, seven carriers are. It's kind of a concern, in my opinion. However, yeah, they're all gone. All of our carriers are gone. All of our destroyers are now dying now. That's, that's great. That's really wholesome. Gotta say. Divided France. Paris has been captured and the French have been defeated. We have ripped out the heart of the revolution, and now we must decide what to do with occupied France. There is, however, problem with nationalist France. Uh, perhaps France during a war with communards for the stability of Western borders and be a best reach some sort of agreement. They can have the formalize the division of France. Let's offer an alliance. Come on, come on, come on. Accept the deal. Accept the deal. No, no, like, evil voice will tempt you to accept the deal? Damn. Why are you just in Canadian territory? I don't even know who owns this anymore. Is it the Canadians or is it the Communards? I, I don't know. Apparently it's, it's Communards. There we go. Let's finish off Genoa. However, our construction efforts are nearly finished. I think our population's gone down. Actually, it makes me feel kind of sad. Do we even have a navy? Is that what the game's trying to tell me here? Cool. What's what's the deal here? <sighs> okay. I have half a mind to disband the surface fleet. Oh my god. Apparently the French don't like owning land. Like, hey, guys, we'll give you your country back. However, small stipulation, you join our alliance. Is that too much to ask? Oh, Turkman. 
That was not wise. That was very much not wise. Especially considering I actually had troops arrayed here. Not for you, but for the communists. Okay. Um... We do need to begin the preparation of the invasion of the Union of Britain. Which we will probably do next time on the thing. Oh no. They're not putting any divisions on this. Twenty-five divisions of various types are here to do the deed. We do certainly need air superiority before we even begin to think of attempting it. That will be our main goal next time. Secure superiority over Britain and then knock out the communards. Once and for all, and once Britain falls, yeah, that will be the end of things. France doesn't like having land. Is Bulgaria not part of this? Call to arms. M class cruiser. Finish the Q class. No, just just go to Constantinople. The Turkish barely have a nation. Bad. This is like something they fabricated even? I don't understand what they thought they'd get out of this. Constantinople is falling. I sold you aircraft designs, you traitorous bastard. Hope you choke on your fucking Turk Turkish delight. Sure, I don't care about some random Chinese state. Oh, that is not some random Chinese state. How did you grow so big? There are a lot of things wrong with this world. There's a child ruling Russia who should have been one of, actually one of my dudes. I don't understand anymore. The CSA is incapable of conquering the Pacific States of America. The Pacific States of America might win. Oh God. They're on all adult serve though, so they might not. If the Pacific States win the fucking thing here, I will be nonplussed. I will be very impressed. They did they did choose to join the the go prosperity sphere. Which is which is kinda bad. Yeah, that's kinda bad. Okay. Apparently, we were pushed back voraciously by the Turkish forces. I don't know how. Oh, we lost a bunch of divisions somehow. Oh, I bet they went in the water. Ten dollars they went in the water. Oh, that's a very good game, decide, game design decision. Decision. Alright, well, considering... Alright, I'm, I'm tilting a little bit. To pause the game here. Alright, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little session we had here. Um, yeah. 
we're nearing the end of this, probably once we defeat the Union of Britain. I'll see how I feel about whether or not we're going to defeat the Japanese and maybe the CSA as well. But we'll figure out how that goes next time. Till then, everyone have a great day and a wonderful night.